Hello everyone! <laughs> welcome to Titan Souls. We're gonna turn this down a bit. But welcome to Titan Souls. Okay, there we go. Um, so this game is a great game. Let me tell you that. Um, as you can see, I've beaten the game multiple times. And it's been good. I actually will be erasing this. And we'll be using this as our save file. So we're actually going to just play the game on normal. Because that's stupid. Like, I don't see why we'd play anything else. Right. We're going to get truth because that's what you get when I've beaten the game completely. Right. That's what you do. So. Yeah. Let's get into it. So Titan Souls. This series is going to be a bit of a tiny, uh, like many series that uh, will come up every few uh, days on the channel. This isn't going to be like a main series thing. Because that's that's Bioshock Infinite, as you will see tomorrow. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know. I just I wanted to try this out. I wanted to try doing having a a series, a normal series, and then having my my own series. What? Okay, can I hit him? So, like, Bioshock Infinite is gonna be the long game. This is gonna be the tiny game that we're gonna play throughout its uh, throughout its life. That kind of idea. Uh, this game is a very challenging game. Um, it's very good, and I'm gonna turn it down more because Jesus Christ, it's loud. So yeah, it's a very good game. Um, something that we all can enjoy. So yeah. So the goal of the game is basically kill bosses. So you know Shadow of the Colossus. It's like that, except uh, not. So basically the idea of it is that we have one shot and they have one shot. We can kill them in one shot and they can kill us in one shot. And it's as simple as that. Our goal is to beat uh, a good amount of bosses. This series is going to be very difficult for me because I haven't played this game in a while. Of course I know how to play the game, but still. It's going to be a lot more difficult than I'd be hoping. Okay. We gotta just kind of get out of there. Okay, get out of there. So this is uh, Slime Guy. I didn't actually read what his name is. Okay, get out of there. But he will crush me to death, and that's not very fun. Now, is it? Okay. So, basically, our goal is to hit the heart, and once we hit the heart, we yank the arrow back out, and with that, we beat our first boss. It's really as simple as that, and this is why it's the mini- it's this is why the side series, because it's- you can beat this game super quickly. Very, very quickly. So that's that. That's legitimately that. So, um, I don't know how many bosses we're gonna fight in this episode, but definitely enough to get past the, you know, the, the main section of it. And the, the, this tutorial part, there's four bosses. I don't remember how many bosses there are in total. I remember there's a, there is definitely a number. I don't remember what that number is, but it's definitely a number, and it's definitely something. Also, um, these, this life thing, it tells you how many bosses there are at the area, and how many you've killed by lighting it up. So, yeah. Also, you can't roll upstairs, which, goddamn, you know, that sucks. Really sucks. Oh, God. Hmm. That's gonna happen a lot. I don't know if you know this, but that's going to happen too many times. So, I don't want to compare it to Dark Souls, uh, but I'm going to. It's it's very difficult, very similar to how Dark Souls would be, except it's a different game completely. And, you know, they're not... They're similar only in the fact... Only, only in the fact... That they're a game. Okay, okay. So as you can see, each boss has its own little creative thing, just so it has every boss in Shadow of the Colossus does. It's a very, it's a game inspired by Shadow of the Colossus, and that's why I enjoy it. Um, it's also just a good game in general. Um, and I would say pick it up if you uh, enjoy games like these. I mean, overall, it's pretty, 
pretty dang easy as long as you know how to fight the boss relatively. But it's, I think, I, I don't know. I really, I really like this game. And I haven't played it in a bit, too, so, yeah. Man. But let me say, this game is a hell of a game. Because the thing, I know I'm, like, talking about how good this game is. But let me say, once you beat your first play through the game and you beat every single boss in the game, oh my god. The side stuff for this is ridiculous. There isn't a lot of side stuff, but there are multiple ways to play the game. There are hard mode, there are no roll mode, which means I can't do that. And there is uh, iron mode, which I can't die once. It really goddamn sucks. Oh, dang. That's not good. That isn't good. Ah, <sighs> man. Yeah. So the, this series is going to be short. Um, you know, I wouldn't expect to expect this to be like 20 series, tart or 20 part, but maybe like a six, six to like five part, depending on how long it takes. But yeah, like we've already killed three out of the, what, I think 18 bosses in the, no, 19, 19 bosses in this game. So it's definitely something. Well, technically there's 20 because in hard mode, there's actually a secret hidden boss that actually people didn't know about for the longest time. Um, and it's actually a clone of another boss, but it's much harder. I'm not going to be fighting that boss because I have no intent to do it. Because actually the boss that it's cloning is my least favorite boss in the game. So there's that. So that's always fun. Hold on. I think... Something like this. Kill him, dang. So yeah, there's this little glitch you can do where you can actually um, pull his kind of not be in the boss fight. So it's really cool. This is actually, there's actually achievements to do uh, to break bosses like this. And I always enjoy doing it like this because it, it's, it's a fun way to play the game. Oh, dang, I actually have to get back out there. This is, of course, not how you're actually supposed to fight the guy. You're actually supposed to get in there and have him um, do his thing. Like how he would normally. Which is kind of be in there and dodge his hands as you try to shoot him. It's pretty interesting of a fight. It's overall not that bad. Oh, God. I, I'm just gonna... How about you just kill me? Ouch. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I just don't like this game, you know? <laughs> I guess, uh, you know, a game that I should probably be uh, talking more about is Red Dead. How did you guys like that episode yesterday of the online version? I enjoyed recording it, and looking back, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, and wouldn't mind doing it again. Okay. Okay. Okay, calm down. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, tidy. I get it. Okay. Man. Just expect so many more deaths. It's it's gonna be great. But I'm enjoying it, and that's all that really matters. Yeah, but how did you guys like Red Dead Online yesterday? I personally really enjoyed recording, as I said. Um, because it was just really fun, I think. And it's something that I don't mind doing, again, actually, like, going through the rest of that little, on... Um... What? Oh. Ouch. Alright. <laughs> I don't remember how to fight this guy, I'll be 100% honest. You have to shoot his chest, I know that. Um, but I'm not sure if it has to do with something, it's, you have to do something before or after. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a while, it's not like I haven't beaten it, but it's definitely something I am not, um, used to. There we go, got it. Ooh, baby, rip that one out. With that, we've already beaten four bosses. Like, this the game's go. This game goes really quickly if you know what to do, and you know where to go, right? 
And with that, we've already beat the tutorial of the game. The introduction, or Act 1. There's really... I mean, there's technically three acts to this game, but it's a very short game, so you have to remember that. So, yeah. So that's um, the first four bosses down, plus the introduction. I would normally end the episode here, but I, I think we'll go on for a little bit longer. We might as well. And now, because we killed all four of the bosses on this door, where it's on the bottom, where I'm standing, we can move on. And I, you know, I have to put the controller down. There we go. I don't know, this music reminds me of Okami, and not in the way that it's like, you know, it's not like that Japanese, like, kind of like, like that kind of like, uh, like that, that, it's not like that kind of music where it's like, well, how can I, ex how can I explain it? It's just very, I think it's a very similar type, it's not the same music, but I think it's similar. Not saying the game's based off of it or anything like that, but I'm saying that they have very similar soundtracks, and I like it a lot. And that's why I enjoyed this, both this game and Okami so much. Right, maybe? I, I mean, I also like the... I like everything about this game, mainly. From the difficulty to the combat to legitimately everything. It's one of my favorite things about this game. Uh, this is definitely, like, up there on my, like, games list. So, yeah. Also, we have to fight eight bosses to get into the f chapter two chapter three sorry because right now we're in chapter two and we have so many bosses to fight and i think it's only right if we follow the wind and head over here to the right i, I think that's fair right we're not going the fastest uh road but we are definitely going a certain road Set up here to the forest. This is the forest temple right here. <laughs> but welcome here. There are actually two bosses here, or in hard mode there are three, but it doesn't actually show you three. It's weird. And I'm going to be honest, I don't remember how to get to one of the bosses. But it's um, it's like that one... Uh, it's like that one um, part in Ocarina of Time. The, uh, the one time... Like when you're running through the maze. <clears throat> what am I? Oh my god. How can I? How can I describe? How can I describe it? It's um. Huh. There are many parts of games where they'll do this, something like this, where it's like, oh, uh, go through a maze and you'll get teleported back to somewhere. I keep. I don't know why, but like this reminds me of the Ocarina of Time, uh, like little tree trunk maze thing that happened. I don't know why. Very weird, like that, I guess. But yeah. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't know, dog. Um. So yeah, let's move up here and fight our first boss, I guess. What is this? Oh, it's you. So first boss, Vinethesis. This boss sucks for a few reasons because he'll spore ya. bit off there we go okay and I'm dead so how you fight this boss is you have to wait for him to suck his suck his arrow suck your arrow back and then you're supposed to shoot into his mouth and then rip his vine rip his uh, thing off and then you have to shoot his heart so yeah and this actually is the boss I was talking about um, that um, is copied and it's just harder so you know how it has four vines well in hard mode it actually I think it has five, but then in its copied version in hard mode, it actually has, like, 12. Like, legitimately, yes, 12. It's definitely something you don't want to mess with. Because it's scary, alright? And I can't stand there. Uh, you could shoot its vines. I would recommend doing that if you have an issue with uh, trying to dodge them. Maybe shoot, like, the front two where his mouth is, but, like... Maybe not anything else other than that. There's really no issue in doing that. Also, this one's really easy to get to compared to the other one, I remember. Like, the other uh, mo the other mo boss here is a lot more difficult to get to because it's a lot more twists and turns. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, get out of the spores. No! No! Get out of the spores! Dang. Dang. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, see, the, not the spores... See, the vines are an issue, but the, I think the spores are more of an issue because they're just, like, there. And you can't stand them too long because then you die. So, yeah. Like, like I said, this is one of my least... Like, one of my lesser... Uh, liked bosses. There's other bosses in the game that are like, oh, I hate this. That's not true. There are other bosses in the game that are like, I don't, li I don't like this as much. I think it could be better. But this boss is like one of them. I don't think it's all that great of a boss, but um, mainly it's just because of its uh, nature. I don't really have an issue other than that. Get out of the thing! Oh, what are you doing over there? That's that's so mean. Get out of the vines, dude. Whew. Why are you doing over there? That's, like, really weird. Why are you doing it over there? Okay, we're gonna get all the vines off. And that's actually bad placement for that. But now we don't have to worry about, um... It anymore, I guess. That's just true. Got him! Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
don't know if you noticed that. Ton of paths. Just kind of roll this one out. So, I'm going to head down here. My god, I love the rolling. I don't know what it is, but I just find it so funny. I know, I have weird taste, okay? I didn't think this was here. Huh. I know this is here. I remember that. We head over here. Yeah, I remember this. Then he gives you, like, a whole, like, this thing. Yeah. I remember it. I was the first life. The first soul born from truth. And from I came the first of you. And now we come full circle. The maker is unmade. And one day you will fall to the same fate. Do whatever you must. All his dialogue we wouldn't be able to see if we didn't uh if i didn't complete the game beforehand and get the secret ending so yeah and with that we did it we killed the seventh boss <laughs> this wasn't a secret boss. this isn't a secret boss or anything this is just a titan truly that's that it really is simple as that Now it's all silent. I like the music. I really... You know, like I said this before with the whole, like, Okami comment. But the game has such good music. Such, like... Like, it, it, it's music. And it's good. And I like that. And that's... that's You should like it, too. You should like it, too. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. So, um, I, I was gonna actually just end the episode at one-third, and I was just gonna end the episode at one-seventh, but do I really want to do that? I mean, a little bit. I'll think about it, because the thing is, I enjoy this game, right? And it, this game is, can, beaten so, it can be beaten so quickly. I, let me make it back to where we were at the grave, at the graveyard. And I'll think about it because because my my thoughts are, you know, I kind of want to squeeze as many episodes as I want out of this game. And two is two is good, but I think two doesn't give it enough um, doesn't give it enough uh, give it enough time in the shine enough uh, sh uh, time to shine. That's what that's the words I'm thinking of. It doesn't give it enough time to shine. It's such a good game. It's such a short game, but it's something that I think we all. Um, you know, I think people should play it. It's such a fantastic game, and overall... Yeah. What boss is this? Let me see what boss it is. It's that boss? Yeah, that boss. That's, this boss can wait. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to Crash Channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this... I, I know, I just said I hope you guys enjoyed. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini, um... Serious thing that I'm start I'm thinking of doing with this whole like tiny game. Uh, I just it's just an idea that came to me. So yeah, um, this the next episode that's probably come up in the like the next few days, um, like a few days uh, down the road. You know, once we've already started like and done a good chunk of Bioshock Infinite, maybe like a, 
eight episodes in or something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini series thing um, so far. And in the next mode, we'll kill whatever boss that is and probably seven more. Six more. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.